I'm checking out now. It has been a nice room. I'm gonna miss this for sure. After checkout, I went to Trueberry to have breakfast. They gave me this apple for free. As a matcha lover, I ordered their spirulina matcha superfood parfait. It was hands down the best smoothie blend and parfait combination that I've ever tasted. Guilt free pleasure. Then I fucking dropped my free apple while waiting for the metro. I was so sad, I couldn't do anything to help it but to watch it die in front of my eyes. I took the metro to Odaiba to see this digital art museum called Team Lab Borderless. I personally love going to the art museum. I also love psychedelic, trippy visuals. I found out about this place through an Indonesian vlogger named Stella Lee from months before and ever since then I've been planning to fly to Tokyo just to visit this place. And now I'm finally here. I ordered the early bird ticket for just 2,400 yen, but now the ticket price is 3,200 yen per adult. It's not cheap, but trust me, it's worth it. One important thing to note is that you must wear sneakers or comfortable sports shoes, because they don't want you to trip yourself in this trippy world. <laughs> As soon as I entered, this world took my breath away. Instead of taking illegal psychedelics, it's so much better to just come here and experience this trippy world. I'm so lost right now, they don't give you map. This surreal fantasy world is not possible without the hard works of talented artists, programmers, engineers, CG animators, mathematicians, architects, and graphic designers. It's amazing how human creative talent can take art to a whole new level. It's pure magic. If you touch the waterfall, you will change the flow of water. The waterfall continues to transform in real time due to the interaction of people. Previous visual states can never be replicated and will never reoccur. That is Buddhist concept of impermanence. Due to the visitor interaction, this crystal world is in perpetual change as well. This installment felt like a nightclub. Every artwork here is literally alive. They will never stop changing. My most favorite part out of all was the athletic forest. Just take a look at this interactive space trampoline. I had so much fun jumping up and down in space. These sex toy looking objects can shine and dim as if they're breathing slowly. If you push one of these, the color will change and create a chain effect. All the nearby objects will change into the same color tone. I got to climb for a bit and it was so fun. <laughs> Now, this is the most mind-blowing art installation in my opinion. You get to design and create your own digital pet. It will come alive and become part of the museum exhibition. How crazy is that? And this is my design. Spreading the vegan message. It really felt like a leash-free dog park, except it's with digital pets. It was so much fun watching my little activists walking around. <laughs> yeah. 
They also have a lot of kids-friendly activities. I can't imagine playing in here as a kid. It must be so awesome. Another highlight for me was the NT house. Beautiful artwork of flower blooming will be projected onto your cup of tea. However, if you drink or move the cup, the size and the movement of the flowers will change accordingly. These artworks are rendered in real time based on the customer's behavior, not just some pre-recorded video. By the time you finish your tea, the flowers will disappear. The floating nest had the longest wait line. I waited in line for almost 30 minutes. It was basically a planetarium and you could watch it while laying down on the nest. It was very meditative. I cannot express enough how breathtaking this art museum is. Do not miss this if you're ever in Tokyo. After spending 5 hours at Trippy Wonderland, it was about time for dinner. I headed to Ebisu to check out Hemp Cafe. It was weird and funny to see so many cannabis leaves all over the cafe when it is super illegal here in Japan. If you see hemp as super food, why don't you just legalize marijuana? I had the hemp cheese nachos for starter and holy shit, it was good. I also had the hemp taco. I was a bit disappointed to see there was only one piece of taco, but it was really delicious as well. For dessert, I ordered their raw hemp chocolate cake, but it was fucking tiny. I could eat this whole slice in one bite. If you know me, you know that tiny cake wouldn't satisfy me. So I stopped by Koso Cafe nearby to get this detox gluten-free pancake. I was a bit sketched out at first by the name because it didn't sound good, but I was surprised by the texture of the pancake. It was so bouncy and elastic. You won't believe it only has less than 300 calories. It's a guilt-free dessert. Oh my god. Yes. A big bed. After staying in hostel for a week, I have a big room now. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah, do you like my socks? That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and hit the subscribe button. Also, turn on the notification alert so you'll know when I upload a new video. Jane!